Welcome, welcome, welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I'm Pastor Alvin White. Let's get it. It's Tuesday, prophetic update. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go, let's go. Glory be to God. Today is December 19th. Christmas is almost here. 2024 is almost here. We're at the end of the year, 2023. Tuesday, prophetic updates. Let's go. Tag somebody. Inbox somebody. Let somebody know that we are live. Glory be to God. I'm Pastor Alvin White, Senior Pastor of Empowering Work Christian Center and Transition Prophet. And we are here to break down prophetic words that we've given and news around the world from a prophetic standpoint. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Father, thank you so much for opening our eyes to see, our ears to hear. Our hearts are ready to receive. We bless you and praise you. We thank you for your word. It's living, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Thank you, Lord God, for revelation, knowledge, understanding. Thank you, Lord God, for moving through me and ministering to me. In the name of Jesus, let your word go forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Tag somebody, inbox somebody. Let somebody know that we are alive. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I have so much for you today. I have so much for you tonight. And I'm going to try to make sure that I just take it one step at a time. And then let's just go one step at a time. First, I want to welcome everybody. I want to welcome everybody that's watching live on Facebook. I want to also welcome all the people that are watching it upload on YouTube around the world, especially our friends in Kenya, Africa, Bishop Wycliffe, we're praying for you. We love you guys. God bless you. I want to welcome everybody that is a part of Empowering Work Christian Center and the people that follow Empowering Work Christian Center. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Um, we also want to welcome our first time visitors. If you're here for the very first time, viewing for the very first time, we know that you're not watching by accident. You're watching on purpose for God's purpose. We bless you in the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. You can go to our website. Perhaps you've already done so. Go to our website at www.empoweringword.net. You can find out all about us. Glory be to God. You can find out all about us. You can go to our Facebook page. and you know, We have Empowered Women Facebook page. We have Living Single Facebook page. We have... Um, uh, you know, we have, uh, other, you know, uh, what, what is it? Uh, zero gravity Facebook page, embrace grace Facebook page. We have different Facebook pages. We have our YouTube page. It's got all the videos and live services. Praise God. So also praise God. We have a powerful service on Sunday. That's on YouTube. All right. The edited version is on YouTube, and we are currently in a series called The Antichrist Agenda. Part 23, America's Gospel Segment 7. You got, you, you need, you, if you miss any part of this, go back and watch it. Go ahead, binge watch it. I'm telling you, we are giving, we are breaking down Bible prophecy. Regarding the end times, you got to know what's going on. You, you have to know, you have to, oh my gosh, it was so powerful. So, make sure you do that. Now, today, Tuesday, we have something called Tuesday Mentality for all the men. All the men out there, make sure you watch Pastor Robert Carr's encouragement to you. Tuesday Mentality is on Facebook, and it's also on YouTube. Check that out. Praise God. Now, tomorrow night is a school of the watchers, prophets, and seers. We have something different every Wednesday night. On the first Wednesday night of the month, we have our leadership, disciple leadership. On the second Wednesday night, we have our his and hers, night of empowerment. And then on the third and fourth Wednesday night, we have the school of the watchers, prophets, and seers. My wife and I, we are prophetic, prophet, prophetess people. We, we, we move in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We believe in it. And we raise up people to do so as well. And we teach a school 
on the watches, prophets, and seers and what it means to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and so on and so forth. So we teach that. And if you're interested in that, let the church know. You can let us know. Praise God. Amen. Now, uh, Thursday is Thursday. Women, be checking that out. All the ladies, that's from Pastor Latoya. Thursday, 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 Thursday. A powerful, encouraging word from Pastor Latoya. You don't want to miss that. Friday for the singles with Prophetess uh, Erica Tucker. And it's the word for the weekend. Praise God. Word for the weekend. You don't want to miss that every Friday. Check that out. Praise God. Now, this Sunday is Christmas Eve. We are having a special Christmas Eve service. Glory be to God. You don't want to miss it at 11 a.m. Just one service, 11 a.m. You don't want to miss it. Bring your family, bring your friends. Special Christmas Eve service. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to make mention of our New Year's Eve. You don't want to miss New Year's Eve. We're going to have our normal Sunday morning service at New Year uh, at 11 a.m. And then we're coming back to church Sunday night at 9 p.m. for our New Year's Eve celebration service. Bringing in 2024, we're going to have communion, the prophetic. We're going to have a worship and praise experience. We're going to have refreshments. The prophetic is going to flow. I told you that 2023 would be a year of great division. And you can see the world is divided on the uh, Israel-Palestine. The world's divided on the war. Israel, Hamas, and they're divided over Palestine and Israel. The whole world is divided. It's divided the whole world. I told you it was going to be a year of great division. I prophesied. And I have a word for 2024. You don't want to miss it. I got a word for 2024. God has shown me what's going to come in 2024. You don't want to miss it. Glory be to God. Bring your friends. Bring your loved ones. Bring your, I'm telling you. One night a year, 9 p.m. New Year's Eve night. It's going to be a celebration. It's going to be powerful. Glory be to God. Okay. Now, also. We want to open it up. If you want to give to Empowering Word Christian Center as we advance the kingdom, we welcome you to do so. Tithe, offering, donation. You can go to www.empoweringword.net. You can click on the Give tab. You can use your debit or credit card and just walk you through it right there real easy, just like shopping online. We appreciate and we thank you for all of your contributions, your tithe, your offering, donations as we advance the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you so much. And we are praying a double portion blessing back into your life. Amen. Glory be to God. Okay. Let's get into this. First thing I want to talk about is you have to go watch this from Sunday. Because one of the things that we talked about is this thing called faces. And I wasn't necessarily pronouncing it correctly on Sunday. I was pronouncing it more faces. And it's it's really pronounced faces. And it is it is this um, tool from Roman, ancient Rome, bundled with an axe. And it represents authoritarian leadership and government. And it's where the word fascism comes from. And do you know that it's out, it's all throughout America? It's on the Lincoln Memorial. It's in the back of the House of the Representatives. The old Mercury Dimes is on the back of... So what did America do? America prophesied that it would be a fascist country in the future. America actually prophesied that it would be a fascist country. I'm trying to tell you it's coming. It's part of the Antichrist agenda. Now, one of the things I took some time on Sunday to make sure you understand this is you have to understand the king of the north and king of the south. I know you've heard me talk about it before. You have to understand this concept. King of the north, king of the south. The king of the north and the king of the south is more of a concept, an idea. And we can see it in the book of Daniel where there was actual four 
uh, uh, four areas of Greece, leadership, quadrants, and you had the north, south, east, and west, and the east and west really didn't matter because they really didn't, they were, they were not really relevant. But the north and south, they, those were the powers. And it was really the territory of Babylon and versus the territory of Egypt. And the king of the north ended up being um, Anti uh, Antiochus Epiphany uh, uh, the fourth, who in, ends up being a type of Antichrist or foreshadow of the Antichrist. And the king of the south is the leader going against him. And the Bible says in Daniel that uh, both are evil. They both are evil. So what would happen is Jerusalem was in the middle and the temptation on Jerusalem, the children of Israel, the people of Israel, the temptation was to choose a side. Well, now you have the end times and the king of the north represents the side which will the Antichrist will rise out of and then he, the king of the south which will be a side that appears to be godless, okay, uh, and 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 represents evil and wickedness. But the problem is, is they both are evil and wicked, okay. I posted something on Facebook. I posted something on Facebook, and I used the Great Awakening, the Great Re Reawakening. There's this tour that the MAGA people are doing. And it's called the Great Reawakening versus the Great Reset Tour. And and Steve Bannon and all of them, they're all touring, they're going around, and so on and so forth. And I said in this in this uh, post, I said, the Great Awakening people are those following the King of the North. Okay? Again, the apostate church, apostate Christianity, false Christianity is the king of the north, which also includes, which is the harlot of Babylon. I'm going to get into that in Revelation chapter 17. It talks about the harlot of Babylon who sits on seven mountains or seven hills. And so that's where you get the seven mountains mandate. You include them in it. False prophets, include them in it. Uh, the apostolic reformation, um, the new Appalachia, NAR, and they come up with dominionism and the whole Seven Mountains mandate. QAnon and the Christian nationalism and conservatism and MAGA and far right, Republican, far right conspiracy theories, stolen elections, pandemic. Everybody that you hear doing that, they're part of the King of the North. That whole, that's, that's King of the North. Okay, that's the side the Antichrist is going to come out of, and that's the side that appears to be righteous. Why? Because it's false Christianity. It's a counterfeit righteousness. Okay, and they're they're going to go against the King of the South, and the King of the South is anybody else. The you know Muslim, Islam, a, a Democrat, liberals, atheists. Uh, Wicca, witches, warlocks, whatever, LGBTQ, Marxists, communists, whatever. All of those, and it's king of the north versus king of the south, and guess who's in the middle? Well, just like in Daniel, king of the north, king of the south, God's people are in the middle. King of the north, king of the south, in time, the church is in the middle. And the church is put, they have pressure to choose a side. The people of God have pressure to to choose a side. And guess what? God has never called us to choose a side. We are kingdom citizens. Philippians says, for our citizenship is in heaven. Glory be to God. So I don't have to choose the king of the north, the king of the south. I choose Jesus Christ. Which means I stay with his gospel. And guess what? His kingdom is not of this world. Glory be to God. So, that's something. So I want to make sure if you understand the King of the North, King of the South concept, you will understand the Antichrist agenda. Because what counterfeit Christianity wants you to think is that the Antichrist is coming through this demonic world, new world order, all of. No, no, that's the deception. 
That's the clear deception. In fact, the book of Revelation says that the conqueror, the rider on the white horse, the four horsemen, it's the rider on the white horse who imitates Christ. Oh my gosh. This thing is, it's, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's, it's diabolical. It's just, just amazing. But anyways, we are breaking down in this series, the Antichrist agenda. We are breaking this all down. And we're on America's gospel and the beast out of the earth, Revelation chapter 13, verse 11, is America. And you can see it clearly is America trying to make an image to the beast out of the sea, Rome, the Dark Ages, Roman Empire, Papal System, all of that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, I have to give you some information. Breaking news. Breaking news. By the way, did you see all the volcanoes and uh, earthquakes happening? I prophesied that. Told you. I told you. I prophesied God was doing the shaking. I told you. Listen, the reason why my prophetic words come true is because I only want to say what God says to say. All right? Now, by the way, be praying for all those people. China had the earthquake and, and Iceland, the volcano. Be praying for all those people because they're suffering and stuff is rumbling and shaking around the world. Okay? Now, the Colorado Supreme Court has kicked Donald Trump off the state's 2024 primary ballot. Oh, oh my goodness. Breaking news that just hit within the last few hours. In a bombshell decision. Let me turn this down. Let me turn this down because I want you to hear all of it. In a bombshell decision. Colorado Supreme Court on Tuesday ruled that the former president, Donald Trump's candidacy, candidacy in the state's primary next year is prohibited on constitutional ground, which means you will not be able to vote for Donald Trump as president in the state of Colorado. Remember, every state can do what they want, right? Sovereignty of the states, right? Oh boy, you know this is going to be appealed. You know that Donald Trump is going to appeal this. And you know it's going to the Supreme Court. You know it's going to the Supreme Court. And Colorado is the first state to do this. And this could cause a ripple effect of other states saying, we're not going to have them on our ballot. We're not going to have them. But Colorado being the first state to do this, Colorado usually does not determine elections, United States presidential elections. Usually, uh, presidential elections are not coming down uh, to the state of Colorado. Boy, if one of these uh, 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 battleground states do it, like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Georgia, North Carolina, yeah. Oh, boy, oh my God, oh hi, if one of these battleground states kicks him off the ballot, I'm trying, I got a word for 2024, I'm trying to tell you, gotta show me what 24 will look like, and I saw a post, I saw a post by somebody that said, man, we need a break. These last few years have been crazy. We need a break. Ain't no break coming. The best break you better get is a Kit Kat. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break of that Kit Kat. No, 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 no. Ain't no break coming. <laughs> Ain't no break coming. I'm trying to let you know that Matthew 24 is here. Matthew's... Why I get so excited about this. Matthew 24 is here. This is the best time to be serving God. I'm telling you, serve him with your whole heart. Serve him. Walk in your assignment. 
Matthew 24. And he says all these things. This is the beginning of sorrows. Oh, no, the end is not yet. No, 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 no. We are not close. Oh, Pastor, how do you know? Well, the Bible says no man knows the day. And so I, I, I don't know the day. But I'm just going based on the signs of the times that he gave us. There's a lot more that has to transpire. A lot more that has to happen. But we are in Matthew 24, which means that there is no... Oh man, everything is cool and no wars and uh, the earth ain't shaking and quaking and erupting and no no crazy diseases going on and stuff and no political upheavals and crazy political stuff going on. No, 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 we in there. We are in there. That is why you need a relationship with Jesus Christ. That is why you need to be in the right church. That is why you need to be under the right leadership, giving you the word of God. That is why you need to be selling out to Jesus. That is why you not, need to not be choosing a side between the kingdom of the north and the south. You need to choose Jesus. You need to make sure because we are in that time. But Colorado, Colorado Supreme Court said no. So you know it's going to go to the U.S. Supreme Court, I guarantee, is going to the U.S. Supreme Court. I guarantee the U.S. Supreme Court is going to have to make a decision on whether Donald Trump can run for office. The U.S. Supreme Court. And hey, you know who is one of the justices on the Supreme Court? His name is Clarence Thomas. Yeah. His name is Clarence Thomas, and, and, and we just found out reports that Clarence Thomas, back in the 90s, manipulated the courts by saying he was going to retire if they didn't increase his money, which he was getting like 174000 I think that's what the, the uh, justices get, 174000 for a lifetime job. That wasn't enough for him. $174,000 was not enough. He needed more. And guess what happened? Those far right groups, that's when they started giving him all those trips, yachts, all that money, and the back. Clarence Thomas is crooked. I'm telling you, crooked as the day is long. You, you I told you about the stories where all, they found out, oh, he didn't report all that money. He didn't report all that money. He has not reported it. He has not reported it. And guess what? His wife, Jeannie, is crooked. And she, watch this, she was part of the January 6th planning to overthrow the government. And Clarence Thomas, I guarantee you, he will not recuse himself from making a judgment on whether Donald Trump can run for office. I guarantee you Clarence Thomas is going to be right there ready to make his vote. Oh boy, it's coming. <laughs> Glory be to God. I, I just, I love, I, I, boy, I love being in relationship with God because he just tells you stuff. He just tells you stuff that's coming. He tells you what's about to happen. He tells you what's been happening in the booth in the back in the corner of the dark. He lets you know. Glory be to God. So, Breaking news, be watching for that. Colorado, bombshell, the first state to do it. Now, I have some videos. Dear God, I have some videos that I need you to hear. I need you to hear these videos. Let's talk about these videos because goodness gracious. I want you to know when we talk about the Antichrist agenda, I want you to know this thing is real. This is a pastor. I don't know what his name is, I, but he is a pastor and this is from the Reawaken Tour. The, what I posted. The reawaken tour versus the great reset. The great real reawakening tour that they do. MAGA's going around Donald, the Donald Trump people, and this is what they do. And so remember, you have you have the political and the religious combined. Two horns like a lamb speaks 
like a dragon. So let's go ahead and play this. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Um, and, 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 oh my God, I was listening to this with my wife and, uh, she said, boy, they say some wild stuff. Yes. Wild stuff. Yes. Wild, wild stuff. Before I play it, I want you to go to, uh, Isaiah 45 verse 23. Go to Isaiah chapter 45. Verse 23. Remember, the remnant is small. The remnant is small. The remnant is small. <laughs> the remnant is small. And, 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 and Isaiah 45, verse 23. What does it say? It says, I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall take an oath. Now, this is God saying this. All right. Now, going over to Philippians chapter 2. Yes, yes, yes. Going over to Philippians chapter 2. Glory be to God. I love Tuesday prophetic updates because... uh I can just uh, just give it to you. Be a little bit goofy if I want to. Look at Philippians chapter two, verse ten. Uh, let me let me start at verse nine. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him. So, who is who is this talking about? Well, the writer is talking about God has exalted him. So, God has exalted Jesus. Therefore, God has, has highly exalted Jesus and given Jesus the name which is above every name, okay? That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and those under the earth in hell. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. Okay, now that's the scripture. All right, I want you to listen to this video. All right, here goes. Instead of us bowing down to him, what you're gonna see by 2024 when Trump gets into office is a bunch of folk bowing down to us. Y'all better get ready. Somebody's okay. When Trump, this is this is the Trump MAGA people, the reawakening tour, and when when Trump gets into office, people are going to bow down to the MAGA people, the King of the North people. They're going to bow. That's what he's saying. Okay, so let me just rewind it, just make sure you understand. Instead of us bowing down to him, what you're going to see by 2024 when Trump gets into office is a bunch of folks bowing down to us. Y'all better get ready. Somebody say, get ready! They're about to bow to the crown of glory. They're about to bow to your majesty. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, your majesty. Oh, come on, come on, look at them and say, your majesty. The crown of glory. And that's what they're trying to scare us with the fake news media. They're attacking the crown. Fake news media. So that's King... So they're they're so he's identifying the king of the south. Remember they're enemies. So king of the south, fake news media that would be MSNBC or CNN, any news media, New York uh, New York Times, and things of that nature. Okay, so let's let's continue. The fake news media they're attacking the crown. America, British is not the crown only. America is the crown. Did you hear that? America is the crown. Hang on for a second. It went from the Christian nationalism, the MAGA people, the king of the north, you know, the conservatives, they are the crown. And now America is the crown. America is the crown. Okay. So let's, let's find out a little bit more about this. Tell us a little bit more about America, this. British is not the crown only. 
America is the crown. I said America is the crown of glory. What? America is the crown of glory? Wow. That makes me think of Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. Two horns like a lamb speaks like a dragon. So now America is the crown of glory. Then America is the crown of glory. Wow. Hallelujah. So by 2024, when Trump gets back in office, there's going to be a lot of knee bowing. Oh, every knee shall bow. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Every tongue shall confess that America turned back to God. Back to his glory. America. What? Yeah, didn't even say that. He said, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that America has turned back to God. They want you to believe stuff that's not even in the Bible. They want you, this is pure, demonic, diabolical, demon stuff. They want you to believe it. And the crowd is just cheering. Oh, praise it. They're, they're just cheering. Praise Jesus. Go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just cheering. Antichrist agenda. Antichrist agenda. Taking a scripture, twisting it, and now you are exalting America. Now you're exalting America, the government of America, the leadership of America. And he said, when Trump gets in the office, every knee is going to bow because a political leader got into office. You, are you, I, I, you need to see this. America turned back to God, back to his glory. The crazy thing about America turning back to God is America never went to, was facing God. That's the crazy, that's the bizarre crazy thing about it. And we break that all down in the Antichrist agenda from colonial America to the founding fathers of America. We break it all down. America was birthed out of some wicked, wicked stuff. Yeah. And so, um, but they want you to believe this myth that America was founded by God and has an exclusive covenant with God and so on and so forth. Lies, lies, lies. John 8, 44, you are like your father, Satan, the devil. He was a murderer from the beginning and, and, and does not stand in truth. And when he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. Anybody that says this stuff has a direct link with Satan because it's not truth. It comes from his resources. All right. Oh, every knee shall bow. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Every tongue shall confess that America turned back to God. Back to his glory. America. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, right now. They... Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the turning around. Amen. Back to glory. That's why I thank God for Amanda and his hair ministry and Dave Scott and his glory and Julie Green. It's turning. Did you hear him mention Julie Green? Oh, my gosh. One of the largest false prophets ever. Julie Green. Yeah, he just mentioned you. All of these people. This is King of the North. King of the North. All right. Hair ministry and Dave Scott and his glory and Julie Green. It's turning America back to the glory. So, Father, I'm thinking that everyone in here will put their hand on their head and say, don't touch my crown. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God praise. Oh, my gosh. Folks, this is happening all around the country. Oh, let me wait and stop. It's happening all around the world. It's happening all around the world. This type of political and pseudo Christianity it is a movement around the world and it will not stop 
Oh, no, it will not stop. Um, let's see here. Over the weekend, our favorite twice impeached, four-time indicted ex-president was doing a speech. And guess what? He echoed the words of Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini once again. But why wouldn't he? Because America prophesied that it will be a fascist country. So we're just watching, we're just watching prophecy come true. We're just watching biblical prophecy come true. Listen to what Donald Trump says. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and they're poisoning the blood. Those are direct quotes from Adolf Hitler. Those are direct quotes from Benito Mussolini of Italy back in World War II. Those are direct quotes from the Axis powers. Listen, this stuff doesn't go away just because you turn off the TV, just because you don't uh, watch this particular... This stuff is happening. Oh my goodness. And, and what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Uh, when all of it starts really rumbling and affecting people's like day-to-day -day life, they're going to think, where did this come from? It's been building up. It's been building up. He's saying they're poisoning the blood. I guarantee you, somewhere in the booth in the back of the court, corner of the dark, white right-wing supremacists are amening this. Yes, because the roots of what he's saying is in white supremacy. Okay? They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world. They come not just the three or four countries that we think about. Which countries are you, that, are you, are you talking about? Sweden? Switzerland? Is that what you're talking about? Norway? You're talking about Norway, right? No. We know what countries you're talking about. Countries that have brown, tan, black-skinned individuals poisoning the blood. Our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world, they're pouring into our country. Nobody's even... Oh! He said it from Africa and Asia, brown, tan, black, non-white European people. Oh, uh, let's play it again. And, and, and I watched this, I was on Instagram and I watched this lady and, and she's a supporter of Donald Trump. And she was like, oh, I don't think he was saying that. I don't think he said what he said our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions. Let me rewind because I want to hear the poisoning the of the Not blood. I want to hear the poisoning of the blood because that never gets old. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world. Not just in South America. Not just the three or four countries that we think about. But all over the world they're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world, they're pouring from into Africa. Country. Nobody's even looking at them. Asia. Uh, the crime is going to be tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, my gosh. And the people in this crowd. Yes, Donald Trump, you're absolutely right. You're the best president we ever had. Because they're poisoning the blood. There you go. King of the North. King of the North. Just in case you were wondering. King of the North. Uh, let me show you another video. Everything he goes through every day. All right. Steve Bannon was just at this. Um, Turning Point USA had this um, rally for America. You know, it, it was it, in, in the middle of of the holiday season, they had this, this uh, patriotic, you know, 
rally and goodness gracious, Turning Point USA and um, uh, Kirk, uh, Charlie Kirk is over Turning Point USA and he's horrible, sir. He, ma'am, he, he's horrible, ladies and gentlemen. He, he, he is, oh my gosh, he is far right, white supremacist, huge, okay? Charlie Kirk, Kirk, you can look him up, all right? And this is Turning Point USA, which is driven for Christian young people, okay? So again, part of the Antichrist agenda. Listen to what Steve Bannon has to say. And I think Steve Bannon cusses. So if he does, uh, please excuse the language. But this is Steve Bannon, who is driving the MAGA uh, movement, the Donald Trump uh, movement. He is driving the Antichrist agenda. This is Steve Bannon. Remember, Steve Bannon travels around the world who's driving the populist movement. I'm trying to tell you this is not just America. This is around the world. I told you about what they did in Ireland uh, not too long ago, okay? Here is Steve Bannon. Not and ridiculed by the mainstream media, the propaganda department, the deep state. None of it would have happened. None of it. That shows his courage and his deep love of country. Talking about no Donald Trump. No person in the history of this nation, with all the patriots we have, have ever done what Trump has done by come back, come back to save his country. No person in the history of America has done what Donald Trump has done to save America. You don't need Jesus when you have somebody trying to save America. You can replace Jesus because you need someone, and it has to be a political leader, an authoritarian leader, to save America. Because Jesus, he's not good enough to do it. He's not good enough to do it. Well, number one, you can't save countries. He didn't die for countries. He didn't die for governments. He didn't die for political systems. His blood is much more precious than that. His blood was spilled for people. Okay? So, with that said... What you hear from counterfeit Christianity is America will be saved or God's going to save them. No, no. America is the two horns like a lamb speaking like a dragon. America is the beast of the earth. Oh, the, these people are so delusional. It's not even funny. It's not even funny anymore. Before I used to sit back and laugh, it's not even funny. They really believe this stuff. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Okay. I used to sit back and laugh at some of these people when I see these videos, see these posts. I, I used to sit back and laugh. Now, now it's like, oh my gosh. They, this is crazy. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. And it says, The coming, look at verse 9. Let's look at verse 9. The coming of the lawless one. This is actually speaking of the Antichrist himself. Okay? So it's talking about King of the North. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan. With all power, signs, and lying wonders. And with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth. Why? Because they didn't receive the new covenant and the new commandments. They were religious. They wanted law. And in order, they wanted the law, with, and I'm going to talk about that. They wanted, they did not receive love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and love your neighbor as yourself. That's why he says this. They did not receive the love of the truth. 
They didn't like truth. They wanted their precious America saved. They wanted their precious, uh, God has a, uh, a covenant with America. They wanted that instead of truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. They strong delusions. And so this is it, folks. This is it. So listen to Steve Bannon. None of it. That shows his courage and his deep love of country. No person in the history of this nation with all the patriots we have have ever done what Trump has done by come back come back to save his country and the American people are on his side. Look at the numbers. And it's a ton of people and they're all cheering. Those sons of bitches try to destroy him every day and he's still winning. He's still winning. He's still winning. 700 years in prison. Think about it. It's never happened on any country on earth. For only the third time in our country's history, third time, the destiny and fate of one man is inextricably linked to the fate, fate of the... The destiny of one man is inexplicably linked to the destiny of America. That's what he says. Wow. You tell that to people and you don't think that they're going to, oh, I need to make sure this happens. They believe that they're fighting against good versus evil. They believe this. And that's why it's king of the north versus king of the south. Okay. All right. And so when you see the king of the south rising up, uh, it has to. It has to. When you see the king of the south rising up, it has to. Why? Because it's got to irritate the king of the north. It's got to enrage them. All right? Last video. Listen to this video. Goodness gracious. This is just crazy. Right. That this election is... All right. This is at a Donald Trump rally. This was in Corville, Iowa. Not too long ago, just just a couple weeks ago, at a no, about a week ago, at a Donald Trump rally, and this pastor is preaching. He's speaking before Donald Trump comes up. Okay, this pastor. Wow, this is some wild stuff. This election is part of a spiritual battle. This election is part of a spiritual battle. You see, strong delusion. Strong. There are demonic forces at play. But I want to remind... And he doesn't even know that Satan is using him. He just said there's demonic forces at play. And he has so... He's so deceived that he doesn't even know that he's being used by those demonic forces. And people, all they want to do is they want to look at... But the atheists and the LGBT and all the... Nope. It's false Christianity. It's the authoritarian, the political mixed with the false Christianity. That's the evil that Jesus is coming back to go to war with when he comes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's the counterfeit Christ. Okay? Those who have fallen prey to the leadership of such demons have fallen prey to the diabolic forces and have become pawns to their schemes. Romans chapter 13, verse 1 through 4. Now he's about to quote scripture. This is the warning. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. It's amazing when I hear 
people that are in false Christianity, Christian nationalism, they always love to quote this scripture when their person is in power. But you don't hear them quoting this scripture at all when their person is not in power. But when their person is in power, they love this scripture. So listen to this. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. And judgment is coming. And when Donald Trump... These people love to talk about judgment. Oh my gosh, they love to talk about judgment. You remember the false prophecy of the lady saying, uh, the an angel came to me and told me that... Judgment was coming to Washington, D.C. Didn't even happen. Well, what angel came to her? It was a demon. It was a demon. God said he sent these people strong delusion. So that's why they prophesy falsely all the time. All the time. They prophesy falsely all the time. Why? Because they prophesy what's in their heart. And what's in their heart is not even aligning with God's word, number one, which means it doesn't align with God. So they hear familiar spirits, demons, doctrines of demons. They hear demons and they prophesy that. And that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. To do so will bring judgment on themselves and judgment is coming. And when Donald Trump, Trump becomes the 47th... He said Donald Trump. He actually said Donald Trump. That's funny. Uh, so, and watch what he says here. It's, bring judgment on themselves, and judgment is coming. And when Donald Trump, Trump becomes the 47th president of the United States, there will be retribution against all those who have promoted evil in this country. Retribution. There will be retribution on all of the king of the north versus king of the south. You have to understand that these people want war. You, in their hearts, John 8, 44, the spirit of the Pharisees is a murdering spirit. That's why they came out with gallows on January 6th. That's why they were saying, hang Mike Pence, and they wanted to kill Nancy Pelosi, and all of that, these people are, they have, they, it's a spirit of murder. They want to, if they could, they would call down fire from heaven. They want destruction. And that's why I prophesy that there will be a civil war. There will be a civil war. America will have a second civil war. Oh, well. That's why God is raising up a remnant who doesn't change. They, they, don't, they don't choose size. God is raising up a remnant, a real remnant. And it's small, but he's raising up a real remnant that choose him. God bless you. I hope you are part of that remnant. I hope you are part of that remnant following him. Well, glory be to God. God bless you. Love and share this. Send this out. And we will see you Friday morning prayer. God bless you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.